The Treasurer predicts South Australia will be back in the black by 2016. The government's mid-year budget review doesn't contain any new cuts or taxes, but also no relief to hip pocket pain felt by the escalated emergency services levy. The numbers have Tom Coots and Tonus in a merry mood. Far be it from me to give myself an own ranking or um, uh, a pat on the back. Uh, that's a matter um, for uh, the public. Delivering the mid-year budget review, the Treasurer announced no new cuts or taxes. But he won't budge on reducing hefty hikes to the emergency services levy, pumped up in protest against federal funding cuts, which now include a new $133 million loss. It's not prudent. Uh, in any way to let Tony Abbott off the hook with his cuts to health. While still forecasting a surplus, the government has revised it down. Revenue has also dropped by half a billion dollars. But debt too is down to just under four billion. The government is doing its very best to live within its means. It's delivering the same service, but we're doing it cheaper. We're cutting our own cloth to suit the times and the revenues we have at the moment. A new but one-off windfall is from the Motor Accident Commission being readied for sale. The injection will go towards roads. The opposition questions what's going towards jobs. It is a very disappointing document for ordinary South Australians. There is no relief whatsoever from the emergency services uh, levy tax hike inflicted upon families in June. The number of public service cuts to remain at 4,000 as originally foreshadowed. We're very pleased that the Treasurer and Premier have not cut further jobs. Delays to the completion of the new Royal Adelaide Hospital helping the look at the budget bottom line for now. It's just a, a happy coincidence. But the Nurses Federation suspects a nasty surprise is in the wings. Our understanding is that the black hole formed by the federal government still remains. And Jack Paquetta joins us now live. Jack, given today's numbers, can the Treasurer give any hope of relief to the cost of living? Well, Kate, there could be some hope with the Treasurer predicting the first surplus since 2009. Now, to achieve that, he is not banking on an increase in state revenue. Rather, he would cut some state-based programs and some public servant jobs to decrease the expenditure. Now, once he achieves that surplus, he then feels as though the state debt would be at a manageable level and he can then go about implementing a new tax reform towards the end of the decade, which could be good news for struggling families.